Yo, it's your boy, Connor. How are you guys doing today? So, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we got the lib. It finally came through. It's been a while since I ordered it. It took forever to come. I ordered two different lips and both of them got canceled because they couldn't ship to me in Germany. But Graham Styling said that they could ship. It wasn't that bad. I'm going to pull out the lip and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But first, we're going to go ahead and clean the car real quick and then we'll bring out the lip because the car is dirty as hell. So let's go ahead and get that done real quick. Beef with Golgi. Amazing. <coughs> oh crap, you guys are here to see the lip. <laughs> My bad. Let me go out and get it real quick. <laughs> Looks nice, it's not bad. It's shiny. I don't think it has a clear coat, so I think we might need to clear coat it in the future or something, but looks good. I kind of want to see what it looks like on the car real quick. Let's go see. I'm going to go ahead and just tape it up and see, uh, just mock it up to see what it looks like, because the only thing that I don't like about this thing is that it does not come with hardware. Uh, I know it was pretty cheap. It was like 300 bucks, but you know like a little bit of hardware would have been good Graham selling, but it is what it is. I bought some hardware kits on it. Amazon DE. They should be here tomorrow, so I could be able to install a slip tomorrow. It does sit so low. Like, I'll show you guys real quick. Alright, damn. So I'm sorry for the brightness outside. It's not even that bright, but... Can I say how sexy? I don't mind all that white. Don't mind it. But I mean, honestly, like, damn. Look how close that bitch is gonna be. Look how close it's gonna be. Look how close it's gonna be to, like, the bottom. It makes the car look a lot lower, honestly, but. Like, let's. Like, holy. It just makes the car look so much better, I've, in my opinion. A lip. I am scared to drive this thing now because, holy crap. Like, I'm gonna scrape on everything. Oh, God. Let's hope it looks good. It's still freaking out. Uh, like I said, I bought some hardware off of Amazon DE. It's just some bolts and stuff. I'm gonna do a couple drills. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna drill some holes and then make it with washers and bolts and stuff like that. Make sure everything sets good. And then I'm gonna put a line of double-sided sticky tape so hopefully it doesn't come off. Uh, I mean German roads are alright. They the car's not sitting super low. But it does sit low for Germany, I guess, you know? So I'm hoping it doesn't, like, freaking break or anything like that, you know? It was kind of expensive, I guess. But, I mean, we can always reinforce it with some carbon, more carbon fiber, or we can always reinforce it with, like, the backing of a fiberglass or something like that, or even... But, yeah, so, I mean, it's going to be sitting low. 
it is what it is. I don't think it'll scrape anywhere. There's, it might scrape someplace. Ah. Sketchy, sketchy. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, maybe just wait for tomorrow. Um, I need to get all those hardware and stuff like that. Fast forward to tomorrow and hopefully the hardware gets here. I paid for one day shipping, so come on Amazon, you better give me that one day shipping. Yo, we're back. So, I got all of the hardware and everything a couple days ago. It's been a long week. But, I'll show you exactly what I've been doing to mock up the lip. The lip doesn't, it's not fitted well. I don't know if the mold was different or the mold doesn't fit well or something like that. But, I'll show you exactly what's going on. Alright, so, I zip tied the front end just to see where it's going on. So, right here. This is a little long in the back, but with some finessing it should work just fine this is gonna come out a little bit which is kind of trash but see like it fits on the bottom all good just needs a little bit of finessing and at the end it's almost perfect here so overall not too bad we just gotta fit it all up and then uh, drill some holes and so we can just have it good to go. I did buy these. I bought some of these. I bought some of these clips to clip on there and then drill through. Um, but as it shows, I don't think these are gonna work. So what I think I'm gonna do is just drill the holes and then use some of the hardware that I bought to fasten it. So let's go ahead and get that done. And then let's go. Let's go ahead and get that done. Damn, she's looking fire. All right, so I've got it mostly, mostly good. So let me show you the fitment real quick. So this side fits good. This still needs to be seated right there, but I mean, it fits pretty good. Down here fits good all along the bumper. There's a little bit of a gap here. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could push the bumper forward and fix that gap, but I mean, shouldn't be too bad. This side, this side came out good on the edge, but I don't know if it's my bumper or not, but you see this, or you see this gap right here? If I were to push in on the bumper, the gap would go away, kind of, but I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. I really wouldn't, don't care that much. It's not super bad. If I push on that bumper, gaps away, gaps back. You know, not super bad. So, it honestly looks amazing. I really like the way it makes the car look. It makes the car look a lot lower. It just looks like really good. Look at that, she's looking good. She's looking fire. Let's see the whole walk around that car real quick, so. Sorry about this lighting, but. Got the new tail lights, look at that. Look at the new tail lights, my guys. Brand new tail lights. looks amazing outside everything uh, update on the wrap the wrap is still holding up really good just some spots here and there that are still uh, that are coming up like up here right there they're coming up a little bit but other than that everything comes out I still really need to do the pistons here I haven't done them I just been wiping that down but I gotta do those but uh, other than that 
It's not super bad. She's looking amazing. From day one to right now, honestly, I'm super proud of myself. We're doing really good. Honestly, from when we got the car in October and now May, the car has been looking amazing. When I first got the car, it was white, uh, a bunch of paint chipping, and there was no air ducts, no lip. The car was idling really bad. The sound system inside was really bad too. So we, we fixed pretty much all the little issues that I've had. So one, I didn't have a lip, which is fine. Like I know that's not a big deal, but for me, like the bumper would just abruptly just stop. So I mean, it bugged me a lot. So we got lip now. The tail lights, the S2 tail lights, honestly, the, I really love those tail lights. So we got those tail lights, updated the tail lights. We also put an Apple CarPlay stereo in there. I got it for 50 bucks and it fit right perfectly. We also wrapped the car, it cost me 500 bucks, like not bad at all. All, all said and done, $500 and to transform the car from white to gray and the gray looks amazing. It's not perfect, but it looks really good. So all around, the car has come a long way from when I bought it. Now, I, I feel like my videos are gonna maybe slow down just cause uh, with performance parts, I know that I am not lacking because the car runs really well now, but I am very inexperienced. I know that everything that I've done, you don't really need that much experience to do. So that's what I've done them. But with like the single turbo kit, like a catch can, all that stuff, like you might need a little bit more experience. Thankfully, I have a lot of people that are here that can help me out, but it's more of an expensive thing in here and that. So hopefully I'll be able to get the single turbo kit just going like buying manifold buying the turbo buying like all like the waste gate the blow off valve like all the essential parts that i need so then i can go ahead and do that this winter but i think the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is get a catch can radio makes these really good like swivel uh an lines for, for the catch can uh thing i don't know explain it. i'll show you guys later but yeah so they make that and i am um, search for a new uh, catch can and everything so we can get it all good to go we also have very little things here and there, like the boost gauge that doesn't work. We also have that, um, we also have an AFR gauge that I had bought a while ago and I haven't put on. So we need to take my downpipe off and then measure out. And my friend Ricky is going to go ahead and weld that up for me. I still need to figure out what I want to do next with the new project is. I kind of want to make a golf series or a daily driver series with the golf because I, I love the golf and I kind of want to not pimp it out but i want to do some good things with the golf so we might do something like that if you guys have any suggestions for me to do anything in the future or anything like that let me know in the comments and if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys the next time